Mahatma Gandhi once said, a nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the soul of its people. Crisis is a catalyst to change. Nothing can change our resolve at BGS National Public School to celebrate Cultural Day in spite of this hard-hitting pandemic. Here in store, we have a pack of exhilarating cultural events waiting to be showcased in a new and innovative manner. Here I and my friends Pranav, Sneha and Nitya are eagerly waiting to take you through this breathtaking experience. This is Dev Prajapati from Plus 10 Edge, one of the four preeminent hosts of today. So let's start off with a question to all of you. Are, don't get scared, it's not a mathematics exam. The question is, how have you been doing in this pandemic? Well, I would regard this as one of the most challenging and perplexing questions of the year 2020 and still persisting till 2021. And that is why I'm asking you this question, definitely. Well, the fact is that, you know, even I faced the hardships, the hard times, but yes, the sweet times definitely are remembered. But do you know what's the most important thing? The most important thing is that we all are bonded here on this cultural day. We are bonded with the affection that we share. We are bonded with the love. We are bonded with the friendship. And yes, we are bonded with the internet connections that we still have and share with the BGS family. Okay, so moving on and proceeding, let's call upon the first event on this beautiful day. So here comes D.R. Rishinandan from Class 9B with his invocation dance. So, sit back and enjoy.
stars in the sky. But specially today, we also have the brightest of stars sparkling and shimmering in BGS National Public School's sensational auditorium. And to commence this radiating zeal and enthusiasm, I would like to call upon Riddhi Jabali of Class 9C to join me in giving our guest the most cordial and warmest of welcome. Namaste, Manakam, Namaskara and Greetings. With the divine blessings of His Holiness, Jagat Guru, Padma Bhushana, Shri 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 Dr. Bala Gangadara Nata Mahaswami Ji, Shri 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 Dr. Nirmalananda Nata Mahaswami Ji, Revered Shri Shri Dr. Prakashnath Swami Ji, I, Riddhi Jawali of Class 9C, would love to welcome all of you to today's event as we celebrate this year's cultural program. Because of the coronavirus, we are not able to meet people face to face. But thanks to the internet, we can still meet them online and spread positive vibes quickly to encourage one another. I'm very delighted to see so many of my friends online who have joined us to celebrate this wonderful event. This event serves as a good opportunity to enhance mutual understanding among people and to set a great example of cultural diversity for dialogue and development. Mother Earth has been nourishing nature and mankind. During the long history of human civilization, humans have developed different cultures and languages. Culture is a sum of life experiences. Cultural diversity makes the canvas of the world colorful and vibrant and wonderful. Currently, humanity is facing unprecedented challenges as the virus has spread across the globe, undermining people's physical health and spiritual serenity taking countless lives and causing social and economic crisis. No nation can stay unaffected as the virus respects no national borders. Only with collaborations based upon love and conscience will humans be able to turn this tumultuous situation around. As Now as we approach the end of 2020, a year full of ups and downs, we, the shining stars of BGS NPS, would love to end this on a positive note with a pleasing and wonderful cultural program. Every life matters. There's joy in diversity. Celebrate the diversity, together and stronger. We breathe equality. Let's all smile in the same language. Come together for cultural diversity. Thank you. We either rise to the irritating noise of the alarm or our parents call out to wake up and attend our online classes. Sometimes we also wake up to the sound of natural elements such as the chirping of the birds and the rustling of the leaves. Essentially, music sets a tone and the mood of the day. So, to set the mood and tone of today's program, here is Abhiram of Class 90.
that melodious song. Dance is one of the most divine forms of art. It is much more than just moving your hands and legs. So get set ready for all the excitement and delight. Save up your energy because today we are going to catch sight of some great dances. To start off with, here we have the students of class 9A with a mesmerizing group dance. सटक सटक बम तेरा गो खाए कमर पे तेरी पटक फ्लाए बॉडी तेरी मक्खन जैसे खाने में बस तू बटर खाए तुम भी भी टिकेट टिकेट काटू तेरी टिकेट टिकेट खेलता नहीं क्रिकेट क्रिकेट पर ले लो तेरी विकेट विकेट बड़ो लो तेरे बेटी लो लोम्बा लोम्बा चूल एम माथा बेदे बोला लेकिन बड़ो लो तेरे बेटी लो लोम्बा लोम्बा चूल
Wow, an incredible performance. Once again, a huge round of applause to class 9A. Now, I would like to bring something to your attention. I would like to convey that this pandemic, this lockdown, this COVID-19 and the most memorable year of 2020 has, you know, given us many hardships. But yes, has been quite fruitful too. For example, let's take 9A itself. Their dance was epic. Like, it was exceptional. And how have they achieved that? They have achieved that definitely due to this beautiful and golden time of 2020 to pursue their passions. Now, what do you say like this? What do you say like this? Gunguru toot gay. By the way, memes aside, but yes, everyone has got their own special time to pursue their own passions. For example, you know, people have pursued their passions in dancing, in acting, in singing and uh, oh yes, I know one more person who has, you know, enhanced his anchoring skills also. Let's look at him, you know, I think I've seen him somewhere. It would be quite a pleasure to meet him. Anyways, moving on to the next event, here we have one more such class who has pursued their passion in dance. So I would like to call upon class 9B with their dance on Navarasa.
ಬೆಳಗೆದ್ದು ಯಾರ ಮುಖವ ನಾನು ನೋಡಿದೆ ಅಂದಾನು ಅದೃಷ್ಟಾನು ಮುಂದೆ ಕುಂತಿದೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಕಂಡ ಕನಸು ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೈಟು ಎಂದು ಬಣ್ಣವಾಗಿದೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಮೇಲೆ ಕವನ ಬರೆಯೋ ಗಮನ ಈಗ ತಾನೇ ಮೂಡಿದೆ ಕನಸಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲೆಲಲೆ ಬಳಿ ಬಂದು ಅರೆದೆ ಮುದ್ದಾಡಿ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಕಚಗೊಳಿ ತಾಳಲಾರೆ ನುಮೆ ಕನಸಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲೆಲಲೆ ಬಳಿ ಬಂದು ಅರೆದೆ ಮುದ್ದಾಡಿ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಕಚಗೊಳಿ ತಾಳಲಾರೆ ಸಂಡೇ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಮಂಡೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಟೆಂತ್ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಪಿ ಯು ಬರ್ತದೆ ಕಾರಿಡಾರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಲು ಚಾಚದೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಹೇಳೋಕೆ ನಾಚಿಕೆ ಆಯ್ತದೆ ಯೌವನ ಯಾಕೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಲೈಫ್ ಸಾಲದು ಟೈಮ್ ಪಾಸಿಗೆ ಸೀದಾ ಮಲ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಸೊಂಟ ನೌತದೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತಾದರೆ ಹಿಂಗ್ಯಾಕಾಯ್ತದೆ ಓದ್ಲ 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 ಆಸೆ ದುಃಖಕ್ಕೆ ಮೂಲ ಹುಕ್ಕಡು ಹುಕ್ಕಡು ಕೇಳ ಡ್ರಾಮಾ ಹಿತವಚನ ಹೃದಯ ಸಮುದ್ರ ಕಲಕಿ ಹೊತ್ತಿದ ದ್ವೇಷದ ಬೆಂಕಿ ರೋಷಾಗ್ನಿ ಜ್ವಾಲೆ ಉರಿದುರಿದು ಹೃದಯ ಸಮುದ್ರ ಕಲಕಿ ಹೊತ್ತಿದ ದ್ವೇಷದ ಬೆಂಕಿ ರೋಷಾಗ್ನಿ ಜ್ವಾಲೆ ಉರಿದುರಿದು ದುಷ್ಟ ಸಂಹಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಸತ್ಯ ಝಿಂಕಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಒತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ಟು ಹೋರಾಡುವೆ ಇಟ್ಟ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆ ಇಟ್ಟು ಯಜ್ಞ ದೀಕ್ಷೆ ತೊಟ್ಟು ನಡೆಸಿದ ಅಶ್ವಮೇಧ 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 ಅಶ್ವಮೇಧ
ನಿಜ ಗುಣನು ನೀನೇನೆ ಗುಣಶೇಖರ ಮರದಾಯ ಸಕಲಾಯ ಈಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಗುಣದಾಯ ನಿಯಮಾಯ ಸರ್ವಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶಿವನೆ ವಾಹರನೆ ಭದ್ರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ always wanted to learn how to play the veena as your fingers strike the wires the sympathetic strings shiver beside you creating a melodious wave of emotions and the soft stillness become the touches of sweet harmony wow this itself makes me crave music well fortunately Mahati S of class 9D has brought us something special today her veena performance therefore let us all sink into her mesmerizing melodies Mahati the stage is yours this is Mahati from class 9D and today i will be performing Himagiri Tane in the raga Shuddha Dhanya Tian Tala Aadi this song is composed by Shri Murtaya Bhagavat sir <laughs> swamps ethnic war clashes to racial discrimination 2020 had it all and the most pressing of all the coronavirus pandemic but looking on the positive side there have been several aspects too 
the chess, we could spend more time with our family during the lockdown and also people got heavily creative during the lockdown. So, to summarize the events of 2020, here are my friends from class 90. January 1st, 2020 marked the beginning of a brand new decade that many looked at with optimism and as a change at a new lease on life. But as summer 2020 progressed, many wondered if the year could get any worse. A month later, things did turn serious, and yes, a few exams were written and few were cancelled. Hi! Hi! I'm so happy exams are cancelled. Yeah, but there is a reason for exams to be cancelled. It is due to this deadly virus. Anyways, we don't have to write exams and we are getting directly promoted. But isn't it unfair? So many of us put so much hard work and we could have done much better. I don't care, we are getting directly promoted. Yeah, that's fine. Oh wait, I forgot to wear my mask. I prefer you to get one too. It's gonna get over in a few days. Yeah. Okay, let's go to your house. Come on. Then began the tale of April lockdown. Cases flew above the roof and caused havoc all over the world. But despite all of this, there was hope. April was the beginning of lockdown 2.0. People who didn't follow COVID protocol when out faced harsh consequences by the police. 
crowded areas like malls, shopping bazaars, restaurants, small eateries were now deserted. Children couldn't even spend their time of summer vacation playing out in the open but had to rather sit in their house. This resulted in children wasting their time and doing unnecessary jobs. Whereas some people chose to pursue their hobbies and interests and inculcate good habits. We spent time with our families, felt bored to death, could not meet our friends and a lot more. You can really count them yourself. Then, the not really new idea of video calling quickly gained traction throughout the world and helped people connect with their close ones. As a matter of fact, many schools adopted this method and started the new online school. The real schools became deserted and a lot of fun was being missed out on. Hi bro. Hey, hi bro. Long time no see. What's up? Nothing much. How are you? I am great. What about you? I am good too. So what do you do in your lockdown? So, nothing bro. I ate, I slept, I kept staring at the ceiling. <laughs> you? Me? I watched like 15,000 movies. I did bird watching and what not. So I'm, I'm really sick of this lockdown man. And on top of that these masks. <laughs> I know right, it's so annoying. But we have to wear it for our safety. Yeah, I guess that's what we have to deal with. I'm tired of all this. Come let's go play. Yeah. Lot happened. A lot more negative events happened. All so far that was presented was just one side of the coin. There was a lot of positive too. To end the show on a positive note, here are some blissful visuals. The year 2020 brought a lot of challenges for us. At the same time, it gave us a lot of learnings too. We understood that health is more important for us than anything. So let us all take care of ourselves and each other by staying at home. Stay home, stay safe. Madhuri and Aishwarya rocked the silver screen with their graceful dance steps. 
our girls Ankita and Anusha not an inch short of that let's welcome Ankita Acharya of class 9e and Anusha Hazra of class 9i to blow our minds with their amazing dance Once again, a mind-blowing performance by the students of Class Nine. So, proceeding on, I would like to ask all of you a question. Chill out. It's not that tough. Okay. The question is that how much do you like music? Well, some will, some won't. But yes, I definitely like music. It sort of brings me to you know another world of fear if i want to or of contentment of joy of whatever mood i would like to go to do you know that the tempo of music you listen to will generally match up to your heartbeat pace did you know that one whole album of music was released from outer space by an astronaut these events tell you that how music instrumentals vocals are so closely connected to us our bodies and nature and it can completely remold our mood into a newer one be it in on earth or in space so similarly i call upon abhipsa mahopatra from class 9e with her magnificent solo song to light up your mood
swaying with emotions amidst reality and fantasy. In simple words, dancing is wonderful. Dancing is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. So here is a group dance performance by the students of class 9C. Sit back and enjoy.
Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena, que tu cuerpo es para darle alegría y cosa buena. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. ¡Ey, Macarena! ¡Ey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena! ¡Ey, put the chopper on it! ¡Turn to a sprinter! ¡Don't my dick, so don't give me one minute! ¡Ey, Macarena! ¡Ey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena! ¡Put the chopper on it! ¡Turn to a sprinter!
for that melodious flute performance. Let's move forward to a different dance form that shouts of sophistication and grace. Kathak is one of the eight major forms of Indian classical dance. Now, we have Sanvi Das of Class 9F and Abhipsa Mohapatra of Class 9E with their gracious Kathak performance. <laughs> performance by Sanvi Das of class 9F and Abhipsa Mahopatra of 9E. On that note, did you know that Kathak is one of the most oldest forms of dance? But despite of that fact, it is still practiced today, widely all over the world. That indicates how vital and golden our past was. Uh, yeah, excluding the past of 2020. Adding on, the ideas of retro are persisting still today. But yes, with a new style, with a new twist of the metro style. Now let's come to songs, my personal favorite. And I used to, you know, uh, listen to songs of Kishore Kumar, one of my old favorites. And you can see that that was of the retro time, but metro has made it even more exciting and even more energetic take a look bachna ae haseeno lo main aa gaya and now see the new one bachna ae haseeno lo main aa gaya let's take one more example of one of my favorites roop tera mastana pyar mera deewana and now here comes the remix. Loved it? Both the songs and their remixes ne todi na kyu, fodi na kyu, bhuko kari na kyu. Basically, they killed it. For more such aspects of retro versus metro, let us call upon class 9F with their unique styles of retro versus metro. 
Which one would you prefer, retro or metro? Disco bole sari raat sajna. Disco disco bole sari raat sajna. Disco disco bole sari raat sajna. Disco disco. Disco disco. Oh, aaj hi hila denge hum aaj angna. Aaj hi hila denge hum aaj angna. Disco 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 bole. सारी रात सजना
My temperature is 108. My head aches. What? What did you just say? Oh, it's a Sunday. Oh, well then, I'm going to play. <laughs> wow. Poetry never fails to amuse me. But to me, poetry comes alive only through recitation. Therefore, here are the students of class 9F with some marvelous poem recitation. This is Avinash Acharya of class 9F. I'll be reciting a poem that I wrote myself. The title of the poem is The Year That Was. The year 2020 saw us all confront a pandemic caused by a virus that has spread very quick. The coronavirus has become a matter of concern. It has spread all over the world turn by turn. Many precautions were set in in hope that the virus could be averted. Schools closed, offices shut and all roads were deserted. Businesses suffered and markets were shut down. The virus spread from place to place, forcing a lockdown. All communication was only through phones. All celebrations were postponed. A coffee with a friend or a handshake with a stranger would put our loved ones in great danger. More time at home meant more time for hobbies. Some started to paint, some bake cookies. Posting pictures online became the new trend. Social media became our new best friend. People picked up life skills and many poems got penned. Family time increased and relations began to mend. Amidst all this, the air got pure and nature healed. All wildlife rejoiced. Mother Earth began to breathe. Humanity will eventually prevail over the pandemic by staying at home and trusting the medics. The prayers of millions of people will surely come true. The coronavirus will soon be gone without leaving a clue. Thank you. So, Prabhat, आज मैं मान्या अपनी कविता अनुभव को बोल रही हूँ। बैठी थी और देख रही थी खुले आकाश की लाली को, चिड़ियों की पंक्ति को, बादलों की मस्त सवारी को, हरे पेड़ सनसन लहराते, राग रंग का गीत सुनाते, भर गया नारंगी रंग आकाश में जो सूरज आया प्रकाश में, रंगों का फैला संसार अनुभव मेरा अभम अपार नब में खिला नया संसार धन्यवाद थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स भरतनाट्यम इज वन ऑफ इंडियाज मोस्ट प्राइज पोजेशन अमोंग द इंडियन कल्चरल डांस फॉर्म्स इट इज कम्पोज ऑफ अ प्लेथोरा ऑफ गेस्टर्स पोस्टर्स एंड फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वे नरेटिव आई एम श्योर द जिंगल ऑफ द एंकलेट्स द सिंक्रल स्टेप्स एंड द ओवरऑल मैग्निफिसेंट एंड स्टूपेंडस स्प्लेंडर leaves us awestruck. For one such performance, here is Digambari Kannan and Priyanji Bansal of Class 9G with a classical dance performance. Yeah, we are with the sun. 
captivated us and yes we've always wanted to see more and more of it here are the students of class 9g with a few magic tricks which will surely leave you amazed
and I'm gonna pick any four diamond cards from the deck, so let's pick. This one. This one. This one. This one. Yeah, let's see, get a full card exactly. I'm gonna take all these. And I just need to take all these. And now. Hopefully your cards in here now. Now as you can see there is one card in the corner. So let's see if this is your card. phenomenal performance by class 9g truly they played their magic on us with their coins their cards their and you know whatever they used but it was exceptionally good now moving on i would like to name some of the great personalities and your job your task is to find out the common feature amongst these people the people are remo de souza shambhu maharaj rukmini devi Michael Jackson, Pop and Pete, and Class 9H. Truly, they are killing it in their own ways, be it popping, be it hip hop, be it Bharat Natyam, be it Kathak, or whatever style they take in dancing. Whoa, one minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There is one person which I enlisted in the group which is there in VGS NPS. Yes, that is Class 9H. अभी इतना सारा मैंने बोल दिया तो एक परफॉर्मेंस तो बनता है क्या बोलते हो बी जी एस एन पी एस सो लेट एस कॉल अपॉन क्लास नाइन एच विद देर डिफरेंट डांस फॉर्म्स कमाल कर गई आंखों ही आंखों में तू सवाल कर गई तेरी मीठी मीठी बातें है कमाल कर गई आंखों ही आंखों में तू सवाल कर गई आंखों ही आंखों में तू सवाल दे किन्ने मरते ने किन्ने पहला तुम्हारे हाथी है नखरा तेरा नी हाई रे तेरे गुमारे हाई मुंडे पागल हो गए ने तेरे गिन गिन 
ਨੇ ਲੱਕ ਦੇ ਹੁਲਾਰੇ
A guitarist can never hear the anxious river of blood flowing through his arteries. He can never hear the nervous rhythmic beats of his heart. Never hear the chaotic clatter of his mind. The guitarist, lost in F hole, is blindly striking the E minor pentatonic and returns back to G major. Isn't that right, boys of class 9i? Well, our passionate little guitarists of BGS National Public School are here to take you to their lost journey of music. So boys, the stage is yours.
Thank you friends. Storytelling is an art and by far puppetry is the best way among all. Consider this, when we were small children, we were so pumped and enthusiastic at the sight of the puppeteers who, with the help of their dynamic hands, brought the characters into real life. Puppetry has helped fill the void of misinterpretations and perceptions. So, friends, be prepared for a dynamic puppet show from class NA narrating a segment of the Ramayana. Once upon a time, in a land named Ayodhya, there lived a king, Dasharatha. He had four sons, Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata and Shatrugna. Because of a series of weddings, Dasharatha's eldest son, Rama, was sent to exile for 14 years. He left Ayodhya and the crown heading to the forest with his wife Sita and even his brother Lakshmana chose to go with him. Our puppet story unfolds in a forest. One day, out of the house in a forest, Sita leads her eyes on a beautiful deer which she had ever seen. Sita standing in front of the house waiting for the deer. Hey Dasharatha Randan Ram, can you catch the deer which is so beautiful and ever seen? Oh, yes Sita. I will be waiting for you and the deer. Rama leaves. Rama was sent to catch the deer by the time it was far away from the eyes of Sita and Lakshmana. When Sita was all alone, the Lord Evil King of Lanka, Ravana, the ten-headed who was feared by everyone, could take Sita away to his kingdom. Rama was chasing the deer while the deer was imitating Rama's voice and shouted out Lakshmana and Sita for help. Hey, Mate, Rama is calling to catch the deer. I'll be leaving you alone. Please do not cross this Lakshman Reka which protects you. Waiting for this opportunity, Ravana dresses as an holy man approaches Sita for food. Sita comes closer to offer the food, but then she realizes that he was not any holy man but the demon Ravana. Yogi Wait, I will get you something. Have it, please. Sita steps out of Lakshman Rekha and Ravana grabs her hand. You evil, leave me at once. Sita, Sita, where are you? Sita, where are you? Where are you? Hanuman was sent to, to tell Sita that Ram was coming to rescue her and even armed with a knowledge that Sita was indeed in Lanka waiting for Rama. Namaste Mate, how are you? Who are you and why are you here? Hanuman showed a piece of jewellery in hope that somehow Rama will come to rescue her. I will be waiting. It is said that the sea gods made the rock float as the monkey army picked up a huge rock to build up the bridge to cross the ocean. During the battle, the demons lost many soldiers including Ravana's brother Kumkarna and son Indrajit. The greatest battle between Rama and Ravana started. Wilded with weapons and with all his twenty hands. But his promise was matched blow by blow with Ram. Every time cut off Ravana's head, another time it would grow back. Ravana, be careful. I'm here to kill you and away Sita. Ah, you subtlest saint will kill me who is having ten heads which will grow right back as soon as it is cut off. Don't underestimate me. Ha ha ha. Wait and watch. You can't behold this Brahmastra now. Rama remembered the Brahmastra, a boon given by the lords to kill Ravana. Rama uses this Brahmastra and kills Ravana. Rama went to Lanka to get Sita and lived happy ever after. This marked the 10 days battle and the triumph of good all over evil. The, this day is celebrated as Dasara. In North India, people make huge effigies of Ravana and shoot flaming arrows at it to recreate the glorious battle of Rama and Ravana.
and also the battle of good over the evil. Thank you friends, that was very entertaining. Inspired by various beats from Indian cinema, Bollywood fusion dance brings a mixture of styles from Bollywood. Bhangra, Ras, Hip Hop, etc. Let's gear up to get immersed in some vibes of joy in this upcoming flamboyant Bollywood fusion performance by a class 10B students. Thank you, Tenby, for your dazzling Bollywood performance. And proceeding ahead on this musical and rhythmic cultural day, I would like to present something musically special to all of you that is prepared by your host of today, the one and only Dev Prajapat. <laughs> So, for those who have guessed it correctly, yes, this is the song Challa from the Shah Rukh Khan starer Jab Tak Hai Jaan. Okay, hoped you like the guitar play by me. Well, I can play the guitar quite well, but I know one person from class 10B who can play the keyboard as competently as me. So let's witness this rock star's performance and now I would like to call upon Ritul Kamesh from class 10B with his keyboard performance.
absolutely love to dance and simply adore dance performances. We could just never get enough of it. Too much is too bad? <laughs> well, that's just definitely not in the case for our shared and united love for dance performances. So here is Anrita and Aditi Rao of Class 10C with yet another dance performance. So just dance with the waves, move with the sea, and let the rhythm of the waves set your soul free. Listening to this song, Hadu Santoshake, sung by Sri S. P. Balasubramanian. And this song emphasizes on the need to enjoy life to the fullest and spreads a lot of positive vibes. In order to increase these vibes by two folds, I call upon Kritik of Class 10B with a keyboard performance for this song. Greetings to everybody. My name is Kritik. I'm from Class 10B. I'm going to play a song called Santoshake. Hope you all enjoy.
Thank you. Hope you all enjoy. Thank you, friends. The series of dances is not going to stop anytime soon. Here, we have the students of class 10D with their energy-filled freestyle dance performance.
बस विंग झटक ना कमर मटक तू लचक लचक के यू ना भटक हर नजर नजर तुझ पे तू जरा समल समल के रहना रे किया हसर के नींदे सारी उड़ गई रे हम दे तो बस तेरी फिक्र तेरे चक्कर में बोला सारा जहा रे मसक गली मसक गली तू गहा जली गहा जली ओ मसक गली मसक गली गहा तेरी गली तेरी गली Wow, another remarkable performance by class 10D. Now, I would like to tell you that, uh, you know, I was going through this <clears throat> uh, schedule of the upcoming events and um, I've got to know about the next event and it would be quite special, you know, at least for me because the upcoming event would quite connect me to the sixth grade class that I had. With special mention to 6F of that time, I still remember that we used to play Damsharats, we used to play Antakshari and what not, I mean we used to play almost everything. Plus, at that time I was a huge fan of music, especially Hindi music. And uh, you know, I used to play with my friends, my friends used to sing along and it was quite a nice time, you know, uh, before this pandemic of 2020. Okay, enough of personal talks because I still have to anchor this whole Cultural Day program. But truly, the next performance would be quite memorable for me and you too. So, I would like to call upon Ram Prakhyat of Class 10E with his solo song. And caution, you are about to witness one of the best singers of BGS NPS. So, sit back and enjoy. Hi all, my name is Ram Prakhyat from class 10E and I am going to sing a Hindustani Bandish. Kahat hai ritu raja ayo, 
कहत हरि तुराज आयो कहत हरि तुराज आयो रे थैंक यू नाउ व्हेन आई से द वर्ड रेट्रो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द नॉस्टाल्जिया द गुड ओल्ड डेज द ओल्ड बट गोल्ड एरा and when i say the word metro i'm talking about the fun and exciting the more sensational era well most people say that retro and metro are two words that just don't go well together but neha dikshit and shreya ji of class 10e are here to prove you wrong with a fusion of a metro and retro dance performance so sit back and enjoy and girls the stage is yours I got it. 
मीठी मीठी सी ये मुनिया सर पे डाले है ये चुनिया क्यों हाँ क्यों हो सोनी सोनी सी कुड़ी नो मौज में रहने दे ना दुनिया क्यों हाँ दुनिया क्यों है किन्नी शानदार कुड़ी ये कर देगी कमाल इसे चूम ले दे अपनी बीत दे कुड़ी नो नचने दे हाँ नचने दे तू आज लगाने दे ढूँ चुनके कुड़ी नू नचने दे हाँ नचने दे तू सारे यहाँ पे करनू छट के ठन ठन के कुड़ी नू नचने दे हाँ नचने दे Thank you, friends. Indian cinema is the powerhouse of entertainment, and the songs have made an everlasting impact in our minds. Bollywood songs never go unheard in a very diverse country of 130 crore people. Now, friends, prepare to be blown off for a jaw-dropping performance from the students of class 10F.
रंगीला तारा रंगीला तारा रंग and sparkling act you truly broke the stumps on the stage now it's time to revive the music buds inside us it's time for some music therapy keep all your ears open for this melodious medley performance
and one more exceptional performance by class 10H. Hope you aren't carried away with the strong melodious flow. <laughs> Anyways, coming to the next performance. Ah, next performance, next performance. Okay. What can it be? Abhi dekho, is pure cultural day mein humne acting acting dekh liya, gaane waane dekh liye. Par ek cheez reh gaya hai. Hasi mazak. For those who have interpreted it correct, yes, a bit of humor is left for the cultural day. So, the next event would be some comedy nights. But, who will do this job? Who will do these comedy nights in this cultural day? Ah, see this whole cultural day I have been anchoring. I have called upon so many people to do their events. But, I have not participated in any event. So, it's time for the boss to show his skills on this cultural day. And here comes the comedy nights by class 10H including the one and only Dev Prajapati. But before moving on, I would like to tell you some rules and regulations you have to follow. Kindly follow them, otherwise you will be in hazard take a look at them kripya karke dhyan dijiye main hu aapka anchor dev prajapati aane wala karyakram comedy nights ko dekhne ke liye kuch rules and regulations ko follow karna padega rule number 1 agar aapke paas koi kursi ho to kripya karke baith jaiye taki aap hans hans kar gir na jaye rule number 2 is karyakram ko dekhte samay aap cheez या पनीर न खाए वरना उन्हें खाकर आपके पेट के चूहे कूदने लगेंगे जिसके वजह से आपको अत्यंत हंसी आ सकती है धन्यवाद वेलकम वन एंड ऑल टू क्लास एन हेच प्रोडक्शन इन दीज टाइम्स ऑफ लॉकडाउन एवरीथिंग हैज बिकम ऑनलाइन स्कूल मीटिंग्स कॉन्फ्रेंसेस एंड वॉट नॉट एंड वी फेस अ लॉर ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ड्यूरिंग दैम वी वॉन्ट टू शो दिस इन अ कमेरी क्लाइट Along with this, we have integrated a few scenes from Friends and hilarious English pronunciations from the movie I Love Lucy. In scene one, we see the various problems faced during online meetings, frozen videos, cra- cracking voices, and many many distractions. In scene two, Joey tries to learn French. Well, you can expect how that went. In scene three, baby kangaroo drafts an adoption letter for his friends who have full size aortic pumps. In scene four. The main character has that inu with English and its various pronunciations. We hope that everyone will enjoy this. Hey Paul, thanks for being here on time. Paul? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, hey guys. Hey Tyler. Sorry I'm late. I had a hard time connecting. One second, Paul is having a sound issue. I can't hear you. Oh, you could try adjusting your output settings. It's the gear I think. Tyler, are you on hotel Wi-Fi? Uh yeah, uh why? Uh no mind I got it. I just had to change a few settings. Great. Uh then we can get started then. Oh great. Uh I think your mic is uh, with your speakers. My mic. Hey, do you have headphones? Do you want me to put them on? No, I wanted to smell them. No, I wanted to put them on. Hey Beth. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had to download a new version of the platform. You should plan some extra time for the updates. There's like pretty much one every time. Sounds like someone just joined. Hey guys, it's Ellie. Um, I had to call in. I'm stuck in traffic. Have I missed anything yet? Uh, no. It would have been nice for you to join the rest of us, but uh, you know, we'll just we'll just see when you get back home. You know. All right. While. Everyone is here, you know. Finally, uh, Tai, do you have that financial report? Oh uh, well, I spent the last few weeks uh, updating our books, and I've got some great news for you guys. Schedule from this point last year, uh, we had a great Q1. 
I I think we lost Tyler. Am I frozen? Hey Trip, I think we lost Tyler. Yeah, I know. I know we lost Tyler. Hey guys, it sounded like Tyler was cutting out. We know Ellie, we lost Tyler. All right, while we wait on Tyler, why don't we? Why don't we go on to the other reports? Hey Beth, you with us? Oh yeah. Okay everyone, I know you all have to leave soon, but I just wanted to check over a lot of things. Okay, okay, excuse me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. You just spilled grape juice on the carpet. See, I'm in a meeting here. Yeah, sorry guys. Okay, moving on. Tyler, could you give the numbers one more time, please? Uh, I thought Bethany had it just now. Uh, hey Beth. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry guys, that's my IT room. Hey guys, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna join in. Hey, what platform are you guys on? Skype, FaceTime? Uh, that's the uh e invite. Oh, never mind. I see. It's right there in the invite. Okay, guys, let's just reschedule and you know do a normal conference call. Fine. Paul, can you have David here to send out the 90-digit passcode? Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Oh man! All right, this seems pretty simple. Your first line is, "My name is Claude." So repeat after me: "Je m'appelle Claude." Je m'appelle Claude. <laughs> well, let's try this again. Okay. Je m'appelle Claude. Je m'appelle Blue. <laughs> huh? It's not quite what I'm saying. Really? It's not exactly the same to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. Alright, let's just try this again. Okay. Really listen. Guys. Je m'appelle Claude. Je le plus plaire. <laughs> oh mon dieu. Mi papou. Je m'appelle Claude. Je le plus plaire. Je. Ma. Ma. Pel. Pel. Great. Okay, faster. Je. Je. Ma. Ma. Pel. Pel. Je m'appelle. Mi babu. <laughs> okay. It's too hard. I can't teach you. No, no, wait. Where are you going? Don't move. I, Don't go. I have to no, 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 no. You put your head through a wall. Mi babu. Mi babu. Hey Rich, the adoption agency needs letter of recommendation. We were wondering if you'd write one for us. Of course, I'll be honored. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I think there's been an oversight. Joey, we would ask you. We just thought you wouldn't simply be interested. Yeah, it's just we don't think of you. Is really being so much with the words. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Clearly, we were wrong. Look, I got a lot of nice stuff to say about you guys, okay? And I know how much you want to have a baby, and I really want to help you guys get one, okay? You know what? Enjoy. We want you to do it. All right. Let me see how I'm gonna start this. Uh. Dear baby adoption disciple. <laughs> so it's time about you, level. Hey, what are you working on? Oh, Monica and Chandler's recommendation letter. Uh, I wanted to sound smart, but I don't know any big words. Hmm. Why won't you do your thesaurus then? 
what I just say. <laughs> Alright, watch. So now, you highlight the word which you want to change. You go to tools and the search generates. It gives a whole new set of words to pick from. And you can then pick whichever word you want. See like that. Good, that's great. Uh, I'm smart. Not at all. I'm brainy, bright, clever. I love this thing. Look how ladies go to the eyes that whole package. Hey guys, here's my recommendation. And uh, I think you'll be very, very happy with it. I don't uh, understand. Yeah, some of the words are a little bit too sophisticated for you. Right? It doesn't make any sense. Of course it is. I use a thesaurus. On every word? <laughs> yep. Alright, what was this sentence originally? Oh, uh, they are warm, nice people with big hearts. And that became the human prepossessing Homo sapiens. With full size white Yeah. Uh, and hey, I, I really mean it, dude. Hey, I, I don't think you can use this. W why not? Well, because you've signed a baby kangaroo today. Hey, why don't you stop worrying about sounding smart and just be yourself? You know what? You don't need the saurus, just right from here. You're full size <laughs> Here you go, Anil. Now I'll show you what I mean. Now take this book and pretend that your child asked you to read you a good night story. There you go, Mom. Alright. Once upon a time in the woods lived a peasant. He was a good man with a noble heart. He spent his time in the forest cutting down bujas from the trees. <laughs> cutting wood. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. What is this bujas? That's bows. B O U G H is bow? Right. Bow. He spent his time in the forest cutting down boughs from the trees. Cutting wood all day made his hands strong and round. One day. That's rough. Spelled the same as the other? O U G H? That shows how much little you know about the English language. So he made a little mistake. <laughs> it made his hands strong and rough. One day he cut wood so fast that by 3 o'clock in the afternoon his day's work was trough. Hold Shakespeare. Trow. T-H-R-O-U-G-H is pronounced through. Through, that's what I always say. Now stop picking on me, will you? You've got me all confused. His day's work was through. It started to rain on the way home and he got so wet that his nose became red and he developed a hacking. A hacking... Well, I know it can't be cow. It's cough. Oh, that did it. I had enough. Or should I say, Inu? <laughs>
Fashion is probably one of the most powerful art there is. It is movement, design and architecture all in one. It shows who we are and who we'd like to be. Arushi Kakkar and Shreya of Class 12A would also like to show who they are and what they'd like to be. So here they are to spread this powerful art with a fantabulous fashion show. Stay like taffy, sip like coffee, wake up, change your mind and drop me love to hate me crazy, shady, spit me out like hot wasabi, lick me up, I'm sweet and salty, mix it up and down my body, love to hate me, praise me, shame me, either way you talk about me, I love the way you talk about me, look at how far I got me, the shit the baby's right about me, I fold it up like origami, like she ain't wearing no clothes, when she going so low? I bet they're gonna break up But what the hell do you know?
Thank you, friends. If there is any common feeling among us humans that is beyond any geographical limit or political barrier, or for that matter, any barrier, materialistic or immaterialistic, it is a feeling of love, humanity, and affection. It is very contagious and it spreads like wildfires and is very much mutual too. For this very reason, humanity is progressing in all walks of life. So, in order to celebrate the feeling of love in the form of dance, here is Sajna Warrior from class 12B. desires but it is even more personal than that it's about sharing the way we experience the world which for many is an extension of personality here are the artists of class 11 with their masterpieces
well splendid artwork portrayed and compiled by Dev Bhanushali of class 11A. 2020, COVID-19, pandemic, lockdown, etc, etc, etc has become one of the most popular things in this world today. Quite peculiar, right? God can do literally anything what he wants to do at any time. And it has become such a situation where students want to go to school instead of staying home. It has become such a situation where people pray for their internet connections instead of their public transport. It has become such a situation where people are working for from home and at the same time working for the home. Well, how many of you have learned how to cook? Definitely all of you would have. So to recollect these moments and changes brought since the past year in a humorous manner, let us call upon class 11A with their spoof. I'll enjoy only full, full plans are there with friends every day. I'll eat out every day. I won't touch books also till school starts. Swimming plans are also there, bro. Family also making full plans to go out to station sometime. A few inches later. class and now they are asking us to respond. Guys, it's SRH vs RCB. It's the eliminator for the 2020 IPL. I'm seriously rooting for SRH because we got really close to winning it in 2018. 
Let's go. It's the last over. We need four runs to win. Jason Holder's on strike. Let's see what he can do. Let's go. He clutched and he hit a 4v1. We finally qualified. Let's go. What was that for? I'm stunning. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, are you sharing a screen? Yeah, you can't see it or what? Hey, I can see it, but it's really laggy. I think you have some internet it's... issues. No, it's it's like how is it my? How, if I have internet issue, it's not my internet issue, dude. Like I got a new data. It's like hundred Mbps. I'm getting on Okla test. How it's your internet that's laggy, not mine. And so if you're not watching, you rejoin. Don't make a mistake. Okay, okay, bro, calm down. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys, how are chemistry preparations going on? The chemical behavior of dihydrogen, and for that matter, any molecule is just a large amount. That stuff is physics, not chemistry. What are you doing? Bro, how clueless can you be? What's that background that you got there? Oh, this dude. Oh, yeah, he has kept me hostage. Oh, nice wow. You buy chemistry or no chemistry this year has been a complete misery. Very nice critic. All mango 6 months vacation Indeed. twice a year. <laughs> oh guys, happy new year. Oh, happy. Oh, happy. What? Happy. What? Yeah, happy. yeah it's 11:58. Why? Music to me can be loud, like thunder in my head. Music to me can be soft, that draws me to my bed. Music to me is life. Music to me is strong. Music to me is what makes me feel that I can do no wrong. Music can make you fearless. Music can make you tearless. Music can make you a star. Music is when you know. Who you really are? Wow, a life without music is no life at all. So to bring life to BGS National Public Schools Cultural Day, Arunav and team are here with a marvelous and mesmerizing musical medley.
Music to me can be loud, like thunder in my head. Music to me can be soft, that draws me to my bed. Music to me is life. Music to me is strong. Music to me is what makes me feel that I can do no wrong. Music can make you fearless. Music can make you tearless. Music can make you a star. Music is when you know 
who you really are. Wow. A life without music is no life at all. So to bring life to BGS National Public Schools Cultural Day, Arunav and team are here with a marvelous and mesmerizing musical medley.
Thank you, friends. Every day, every minute, COVID-19 frontline warriors work day in and day out in order to run the show and save lives. From doctors to journalists, from policemen to social workers, they try their level best in order to bring the pandemic under control. The only difference between us commoners and the COVID-19 frontline warriors is that they stay within the zone enclosed by the warning tapes and we stay behind them. To honor our nation's guiding lights, here is Vishal from Class 12A. Uh -huh. वतन वतन मेरे आबाद रहे तू वतन वतन मेरे आबाद रहे तू मैं जहा रहू जहा मैं याद रहे तू मैं जहा रहू जहा मैं याद रहे तू वतन मेरे वतन वतन मेरे वतन तू ही मेरी मंजिल है पहचान तुझी से तू ही मेरी मंजिल है पहचान तुझी से पहुँचू मैं जहाँ भी मेरी बुनियाद रहे तू पहुँचू मैं जहाँ भी मेरी बुनियाद रहे तू वचन वचन मेरे आबाद रहे तू मैं जहाँ रहू जहाँ मैं याद रहे तू वचन मेरे वतन वचन मेरे वचन Wow, what a brilliant performance. Okay, in this cultural day, we four anchors have been doing our best and uh, I would like to thank the other three anchors for their immense support and dedication towards this anchoring job. Now we have been speaking, we have been anchoring for this whole day and it has been quite a tiring job for us. <laughs> well, I'm not joking, seriously. So in order to get some rest and for us four to take a break, I would like to call upon BJ Lakshmi from class 11B to deliver her beautiful and alluring speech. Culture is the widening of the spirit and of the mind as said by Dr. Jawaharlal Nehru. Today we learn calculus and perform complex mathematical operations. But have we ever wondered about the significance of the digit zero? We owe all the advancements in both technology and mathematics to our own astronomer Aryabhatta, the inventor of the digit zero. Without zero, there is no calculus, which means no modern engineering or automation. Without zero, much of our modern world literally falls apart. A lot of the calculations and predictions made by NASA today are compatible with the Indian celestial system, 
which has been dis discarded with the coming in of the English calendar. What is interesting is how our culture has inculcated all of these discoveries during a time when telescopes or instruments to measure values didn't exist. Have you ever wondered why a teacher pinches uh, or pulls a student's ear if they're being disobedient? And why this has become so deep rooted in our culture? What if I told you there were scientific benefits to this practice? This practice is also called Bhaski in Kannada and Tappu Karanam in Tamil. A lot of research was taken up on this topic by researchers and doctors from around the world and the results were astonishing. It was observed that after performing this method for just one minute, the alpha wave, uh, uh, wave activity in the brain increased, hence allowing a person uh, to grasp knowledge easily. Western influence has had a huge impact and influence on Indian youth. We can see the in youth in India become accepting of people from different backgrounds and learning to re respect uh, different cultures. With the coming in of Western influence, we can see uh, we can filter out the taboos and stereotypes in our own culture. With Western influence, we are also introduced to so many new career prospects which we earlier didn't know existed. Now we see the youth disregarding cultural practices as stereotypical and meaningless. Although this is true to some extent, it would be foolish of us to label all of the cultural practices as meaningless. For example, Diwali. Diwali is called a festival of lights. But why do we light lanterns during Diwali? Diwali is celebrated where, when, during the winters when temperature and humidity are both low. This weather, weather condition attracts insects including mosquitoes. Insect borne diseases have always been deadly. Rewind a couple of hundred years when we didn't have insect repellents, our ancestors had to find other ways to keep insects out, which is by lighting fires and lanterns. When we say we light lanterns to keep out the darkness during Diwali, what we are actually referring to is insect borne diseases. During Diwali, we also prepare certain delicacies which contain ghee as one of the most important components. Ghee is called the food of gods in Ayurveda, but oil companies have portrayed ghee as being unhealthy and that they make you gain weight to market their refined oil. This is an example of how what we uh, how we blindly follow what the West proposes. After a lot of scientific research, ghee has been shown as being the better and healthier option and it is now being sold as clarified butter in the West. The youth in India also today also shy away from speaking their mother tongue. Someone who speaks English is respected while sp someone speaking in their mother tongue is looked down at and English has been placed on a throne. We can see the increasing popularity of Western music in our country, which is not wrong, but with this, youngsters also degrade beautiful Indian classical music like Carnatic and Hindustani music. We are the ones who need to respect and cherish our culture. We need to ask ourselves what would be the point of our freedom struggle if we continue to suppress our own language and culture. Let us question our practices and let us respect other cultures while cherishing our own culture. Thank you. Music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to imagination, and life to everything. That's right, without music, the world is pretty much incomplete. And without music, our cultural day program is also pretty much incomplete. So here is Breda of class 12A to sing a song and blow your minds with her beautiful voice. So Veda, the stage is yours. Thank you. 
so many fairness creams none of them seem to give my skin that white glow when will i get fevicol like whiteness try generic fairness cream generic fairness cream how is this cream different than the other creams generic fairness cream has world class technology it has quantum nano rocket science led fairness biotechnology quantum nano rocket science led fairness biotechnology doesn't make sense yes gender fairness cream has extracts of lemon turmeric potato onion tomato chili powder and many more secret ingredients that combine to give you the most delicious i mean effective fairness cream in the world hmm. how do i know that this works well then let's talk to some of our customers Generic fairness cream is the best fairness cream I have ever used till date. It gave me immediate results. My new skin tone is the reason I don't find traffic these days. The minute I walked into my interview, they gave me the job. It wasn't because of my hard work or talent. I give all the credit to Generic Fairness Cream. Generic Fairness Cream. Now with Quantum Nano Rocket Science LED Fairness Biotechnology. Now only for rupees triple nine triple nine triple nine triple nine. No. Thank you, friend. When I say William Butler Yeats, Rabindranath Tagore, Oscar Wilde, and Robert Stevenson, what does it remind you of? 
Yes, they all are poets. Poems are the basic part of English literature. English literature is not English literature without poems. Poems, unlike stories, not only convey the raw information, but also convey the direct emotions and feelings of the poem. Speaking of which, I would like to call upon Tarini and Dee of class 11A for some poetry. Hello guys, how was your day been? Hopefully good, because it's about to get a lot better. Here are some soothing lines of poetry to refresh roll your mind. At the end, we're going to turn those sounds upside down and leave you smiling like a clown. So enjoy. Certainty. I am as certain as I can be. Just not a feeling of some degree. When I believe I was actually meant to be. Tell you all that I'm trying to be free. You may not understand what I really see, how I really feel and want to be. I'm on my way to reach a peak, feeling that I'm as certain as I can be. East Tint Gonna find home at the seashore tonight. Make peace as the sun sleeps on the ocean. You may be at ease tonight and understand beauty as the stars dance for me. Fly Never is it too late. Start new and aim straight. Gonna have to trust yourself and dedicate. Give up all the weights of hate, or made. You won't be one to blame your fate. Up and about to the sky you'll elevate. Pause. Never thought this world would come to a puny little pause. Gonna do our part was what we thought. Let the best happen or let the worst. Either ways, you must remember, down this road, we've learned a lot. Never shall I forget her virtues of goodness. Gonna let the sap run in the sugar bush. Around the world I'll go, 70 years or more. And if I'm too tired to dream, thoughts of you console. Desert me I know, you will never. You are mortal, but your words eternal. Moments Never dwell too much in history, or what the future may behold. When I have to let go of mistakes and mystery, make discoveries and bring life to thoughts which are yet untold. You paint your own canvas with an unforgettable story, cry out in thrill that you lived in moments. Rise. Never lose hope after a fall, gonna have to rise through them all. Say, a crawl through a hard wall? Goodbye is a downfall. You gotta fight and stand tall. A lie to the mind. Never ensnare your mind to the trap of your fearful thoughts. You're gonna believe in yourself and fight what you worst fought. Tell yourself you can do it. A lie to the mind to rather submit. Hurt the despondent conscience you sow and wind, giving a little rest to the hurried mind. this formal function with a vote of thanks and appreciation and gratitude to all who made this event a great success. To propose the vote of thanks, here is Sri Vatsa Kakeri. Namaste. Jai Shri Gurudev. With the divine blessings of His Holiness, Jagat Guru, Padma Bhushana, Dr. Shri 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 Balaganga Dharanatha Mahaswamiji, Dr. Shri 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 Nirmalananda Nath Mahaswamiji, and Dr. Shri Shri Prakashnath Swamiji, I, Srivatsa Kakkeri from class 9C, would like to propose the vote of thanks. A wise man once said, 
No one who achieves success does so without the help of others. The wise and confident acknowledge this with gratitude. So it is my privilege to acknowledge the contribution of all those who work to make this program a grand success. First, I extend a hearty vote of thanks to our academic director, Dr. S. A. Nair Sir, Principal Ms. Shikala Ji Kumar, Vice Principal Ms. Savita Suvarna Ma'am, and our headmistress for providing us with this golden opportunity. I also extend a hearty vote of thanks towards all the level coordinators and teachers. I congratulate all the shining stars of BGS NPS for their wholehearted performance. Finally, I thank each one of you audience members for attending the program. Don't make plans, make options. You'll never get bored when you try something new. There's really no limit to what you can do. Do not wait until the conditions are perfect. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. The best is yet to come. Wishing you all a very happy and prosperous new year. This is me, Shivatsa, signing off. Thank you and have a nice day.